For a non-expert, blockchain can be a difficult thing to understand. Thankfully, people like our guest today are making this technology more appealing to the masses. We'll be meeting with a blogger that also keeps the higher quality in our NAM products. Yes, Ivy is well recognized in our ecosystem and thanks to her words, there's a lot of knowledge out there about NAM and blockchain. Today's guest is who I call the blockchain sweetheart. It's Ivy Fong and she's with us already. Hello, sweetheart. How are you, Ivy? Welcome to the NAM show. I am doing good. As sweet as usual. <laughs> yes, you do are indeed, okay? Because you are our, our gatekeeper. You're the gatekeeper of our technology. And I think you're doing a great job telling all of, uh, uh, telling us all how blockchain works and how NAM works. Sure. Um, wow, let's just let me tell you all a little bit of myself. I started as a programmer, but then uh, after one, two years, I kind of like walk out of it and go to do a lot of like sales, marketing and management for about like a good decade. I never touch or never write a code. And yeah, never. And what got me really interested back into uh, blockchain is first uh, i would like to get back to you know with the technology then i come across the word blockchain well like many of others i start with mining trading but then i think i would like to know more about the technology and then them have the, uh, a meetup in KL. So I went to join and then they said they're going to have a, a office here in KL and I'm like, wow, I can't wait to go there and have a visit. And I really impressed with the uh, proof of importance that they were talking about uh, that time. And I really want to know more about it. When the office start, I went there and I said, well, I'm interested to get a job. If you are hiring, I'm in. And the rest is history. I mean, you went to do yourself this series about show, about blockchain, about the name blockchain. And it's, it's, it's a great thing, okay? Because you, in very basic terms, explain us how this tech works. Okay, why did you decide to, to, to go with this series? Not only written, but also on video. Why was that? Well, first, I always find that uh, when you try to share something with somebody else, the one that learned the most is actually ourselves. Because I want to learn more about the technology, so I go ahead and learn about um, how NAND blockchain, both NIS1 and Simple, compare to other blockchain. Because to me, is knowing other blockchain it's very important to understand ourselves as well. It's just like uh, Sun, Tzu Zay, uh, Sun Tzu says in the War of uh, Art of War, War of Art, uh, Art of War. Okay, sorry. <laughs> A bit confused okay, sometimes. Yeah, it happens all the time. Okay, yeah, no problem. Yeah. So what he said is like uh, when you know about your army and you know about yourself, you're almost always going to win the war. Now, I'm not saying that like we are trying to go into a war with other blockchain. Because in uh, nowadays, what I think is when you are in the same industry, you mostly need to work together rather than work against each other. And why I start to uh, compare uh, the series I'm doing, uh, I'm doing is uh, comparing Ethereum 2.0 with Symbol. I choose Ethereum is because Ethereum started about the same time, just a few months later than uh, now. And we are launching the second variations, uh, iterations at about the same time, right? And a lot of the time, because like Ethereum is quite well known as well. So I think that like, you know, it's, it's fair enough and it's good to let our community to know more about what the NAM technology can bring to the table. So that is uh, what got me started doing that. And the more I study about it, the more I am convinced about our technology. But, but digging into that, 
how would you compare other blockchains just to symbol why can we say it's really easy to to to, to program with interoperable why is it really better for developers to begin with all right um let me just start with the i think something that's very important which is some uh, standards that we need to follow in order for uh, easy operations and uh, to, to build other uh, applications take for example our ip address there is a standard there that like you know how we go by the the you know that is always like uh three three uh, what can i say that there is always three set of numbers to link you to an address so this is a kind of standard. So we have the standard. We know how we're going to send the information from one point to the other point. Same as here. Uh, for simple, all this standard is being uh, worked out right at the beginning. So it's very easy for the developer that do not have to think about that if I would like to create a token on the simple blockchain, uh, how should I do it? All the standards have been embedded into the function. So this is one of the reasons I find that simple is written and uh, even NIS1 is very easy to use. Um, just take for example, for easier comparison is when Ethereum just started, they do not have this kind of standard. And ERC20 come in later to define all this. And because of all certain things that uh, will be uh, before this, that is certain, uh, um, uh, I would say certain issue going on before the standard is defined. So symbol and this one take care of this right at the very beginning. But symbol offers offer uh, other features, of course, and maybe one of what? the features that that offers and it's a, a very trending topic nowadays is the NFT easiness. Okay. I mean, symbol is pretty easy to 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 for making an NFT, and there's a hype, okay, in the authorship industry, music, art, everyone is making NFT now, NFTs nowadays. Okay, why is symbol so easy for making NFTs? What do you think is that? All right, I think first let me define NFT again. Non-fungible means something is very unique and there is no a second one that be able to inter interchange with it or have the same value as it. Yep. So by default, by default, all of our address that hold our tokens is non-fungible. We just do not know that and we do not call it a non-fungible token, but they are non-fungible by nature. And in order for us to create a non-fungible tokens, most important thing for tradable, remember just now I mentioned, in order for us to be able to send an email from me to you, I need to know your address and that is the standard for us to follow. Yeah, that, that, yeah it is, and, and it's a good example, yes. Yes. And in order for us to trade an NFT, the standard is important. And remember just now I mentioned that all this standard was being done very oh. beginning when the simple yes. blockchain starts so that is why that like creating an nft in simple is very uh simple and i have some uh videos talking about it just by using a simple wallet you will be able to create uh, an nft for yourself well i mean thank you so very much for being here with us today and if you be so kind to send a message to our audience. You're free to do so. I would encourage everybody to start understanding about blockchain and what blockchain can bring to us and help in our everyday life. Whatever the applications we have nowadays is just to start. And some people have asked me before saying that, like, no, we have so many blockchain applications already. Do we still need any others? Well, if I ask you, we have already have so many mobile applications and have been going on for so many years. Are you still going to build any? I think the answer is yes, right? Oh, please, please. <laughs> the more the, the, the more the, the more are joining to this movement, 
the the easiest and the fast this this the fastest this technology will go on. Well, let's thank Ivy for her time. Uh, Ivy, please don't change your last name to non funk Okay, please. <laughs> well, okay. I'm always the funk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There you have it. You can follow Ivy on Medium, where she has her series. And in the meantime, you can stay tuned in our show. Okay. My name is Alexis Trujillo. See you on a next episode of the Nem Show. See you, Ivy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.